Hello again, this is Doug, the Two Minute Gardener. We're going to wrap up our series on landscape lighting and with a talk about solar lighting. So the sun is basking us in warm glow, but boy, wouldn't it be nice to capture some of those rays to power the lights in our landscape. That's where solar lights comes in. I'm gonna talk about what works best with solar lights and what they kind of struggle at. So let's look at lighting. So just to kind of recap, the series we've been talking about low voltage lighting, which is lighting that is actually hardwired into the ground on via low voltage lines that are run all around your landscape and it provides a really nice glow. We've looked at different kinds of low voltage lighting in this series from path lights to up lights to lighting water. We've also looked at non non voltage uh, lighting such as string lights and other kind of lights. So what we're going to do today is look at some different kinds of solar lights. So this particular client that I did a job for, they did not have power by this pond area. So we wanted to do some solar lights because it was just the easiest and least expensive way to light up the various pathways around the pond. I did a little research on Amazon, found this particular brand, the Giga Lumi uh, brand, and saw that these ones are had a very high rating on Amazon and they were fairly inexpensive. These fixtures cost about $8 per fixture, not counting the delivery and of course the labor to install them but the installing part was not that hard so compare that to low voltage fixtures low voltage fixtures like the ones you've been seeing in this series are going to cost at least a hundred dollars and that does not include the wiring or the transformer so this is where solar lights really has a strong point in that it's much more economical this entire pathway had about 20 of these low voltage lights spaced at about seven foot increments and the entire pathway this cart path cost about two hundred dollars for all these lights plus delivery plus installation and that's what solar lights really does best it's inexpensive lighting in areas where it's tough to wire up with low voltage lighting or it's not feasible if you had put 20 low voltage lights on there, it would have cost at least $2,000. So it's quite a, a uh, difference between the two incomes for that. And again, there is a link in the video description of all the lights. So let's look at some different kinds of lights. So we talked about path lights, what you saw previously in the video. So this pond also wanted to light up the water. So I got one of, I got a few of these InnoGear solar spotlights as well as these really cool crackle globes. These are kind of fun little things to light up at night as well. And we spaced these all around the pond, the pathway, the golf cart path leading down to the pond. And again, this area had a few low voltage lights, but it would have cost thousands and thousands to add more of the low voltage lights to this area to say nothing of the labor to hook it all up. So it was one of these areas that it really works well to have solar lights. For solar lights, they really need to have six to eight hours of direct sun a day to charge them, to power them up at night. Now, again, one of the strong points of solar lights is if it's an area that gets lots of sun and you have a tight budget, solar lights do best. And again, we've talked about some of the ones in this video and there's links in the video description as well. What it doesn't do well is cast a huge amount of light. Again, a low voltage light is going to give you two to four times the power of a good solar light. So there is a trade-off. Also, obviously, if it's an area that doesn't get six to eight hours of sun, a low voltage light is going to be a better bet. The third thing that low voltage lights do a little bit better than solar lights is you can control when they go on. You can program a timer to turn a low voltage light on, say, at 5. With solar lights, you are really married to whenever the sun goes down, that's when the lights will go on. Anyway, again, check out the video description to see more information about these lights. That's all the time we have for today. This is Doug, the Two Minute Gardener, saying thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to click on that like button and hit subscribe to get more of my garden videos. Until next time, thanks for watching.